What's up guys, Wizard of Ores here and today I'll be talking about all the things I got right in my big reverie theory and what is still to come from it. I'll also be discussing how I predicted it by looking at certain sets of foreshadowing that Oda used to tell us what would happen. In my opinion, a lot of the facts were already there in front of us, we just had to look a little deeper into it. There's honestly a lot to discuss on what happened at the reverie because we still don't know everything. With all that being said, please help a guy out, like the video, subscribe, and even hit that notification bell just like Luffy and Skypea so you can be notified for future theories. And now let's get into it. So the first thing in this video that I called out was that King Cobra would die. I said this would happen because he said he wanted to learn about stuff from the Void Century. He says how ever since he met Nico Robin, he's had questions for the world government. Back in chapter 218, we see that Nico Robin told Cobra how her dream is to find the real Poneglyph, the Poneglyph that tells the true history. She tells him how all she ever wanted was to learn the true history and never had intentions of telling Crocodile where Pluton is. This is when he realized that something strange is going on in the world. He realized that the government is trying to hide something a lot bigger than just the ancient weapons. He simply realized that reading the Poneglyphs shouldn't be a crime since they tell history and that Robin shouldn't be the criminal that she's known as. So with all this being said, who knows what Cobra told the five elders at their secret meeting. He may have threatened them or asked questions that they didn't like other than just asking why his family line left the 20 royal families. Now before I tell you how I think he died, let me tell you another thing I brought up in the video, which is a crazy set of foreshadowing all the way back to Amazon Lily, which told us that Cobra was going to die. So in chapter 518, when we first see Marigold turn into a King Cobra, the arena is chanting the word death. I said in my reverie video that I believe that this is foreshadowing that King Cobra will be the death at the reverie, and now it seemed like it became true. Previously, I thought that he died from the five elders commanding someone to kill him, since it seems his meeting with them was gonna be tense, but now we learn through the newspaper that Sabo killed him. Now, I don't think Sabo intentionally killed Cobra, I actually think he did it by accident as he was attacking Pangaea Castle. King Cobra may have gotten the crossfire as Sabo was declaring war. We also learned in 1054 that Vivi somehow went missing at the same time that King Cobra was assassinated. I also called this in my reverie video. Now that we know it happened for sure, I think there's two possible ways she could have gone missing. The first first obvious reason would be that Eam somehow secretly took her. I stated in my theory that the light Eam wants to extinguish is the Nefotari family since they're rebellious against the world government. First of all, they left the 20 royal families 800 years ago. Secondly, King Cobra is questioning them. And third, they are friends with Luffy or now Joy Boy, with Vivi even being on the Straw Hat crew at some point. Eam doesn't trust their bloodline at all, so she wants them wiped from history. Now if this happened, the Straw Hats would probably have to save her in some way. I personally don't think this is what happened or what will happen which leads me to my next point. I think Vivi went missing because she knows Sabo is Luffy's brother and was on his side. In the video I state that she went missing because I thought that Bartholomew could have sent her off to either Elbaf or Wano. We already know that she isn't in Wano but I still think there's a chance that she could have been sent to Elbaf. The reason I say this is because as a pre time skip straw hat I believe her being barted off by the pawpaw fruit is an initiation for her being an official straw hat. It happened to all the other pre time skip straw hats at their lowest moments of their life. So now it may have also happened to Vivi at her lowest point. Bart's powers work by sending people off to the place they need to go the most. So I think Elbaf works because Vivi met the Elbaf captains in Little Garden with the straw hats. Can you imagine if the straw hats pull up to Elbaf only to see Vivi there? In my opinion, that would be so hype and just insane. Elbaf is also easily the safest place for Vivi to go. It's even safe safer than Wano since there seems to be no marines going to or affiliated with the legendary island. Vivi going there could have really happened now with the reveal that the revolutionaries saved Kuma. If Vivi was in some way helping the revolutionaries since Sabo is Luffy's brother, they could have saved her from Eam by sending her off to a safe place. This leads me to the next way I think she could have been saved. The other way I think Vivi went missing is by escaping with the revolutionaries. We know that they have Morley who has the abilities to go underground and hide. She definitely could 
could have used his ability to help save Vivi after she realized that Vivi is on their side. Another way that this could have happened is that as Sabo accidentally kills Cobra, he overhears the elders saying that they are also going to kill Vivi as commanded by Im sama Maybe Sabo heard this and then told the revolutionaries to protect Vivi at all costs. Maybe after this is when Morley protected her by hiding her underground and taking Vivi with them on their escape. If the revolutionaries did take Vivi, then I think they may be heading to Alabasta to clear things up. The current ruler of Alabasta will however not be Vivi, but in my opinion will instead be Koza who will definitely side with whatever Vivi says. Now you may wonder, why do I think Koza will be the ruler and not Vivi? Well, because in their flashbacks as kids, Cobra himself hints that Koza will be the leader since he thinks that Vivi isn't set to be one. He says that Vivi is too nice to be the full on leader and that she can't make tough decisions. We already saw how Koza is willing to fight for the people and make the tough decision to go against the king. On top of this, we even see Vivi straight up call Koza leader, like that's literally the nickname she gave him. I think Alabasta will eventually be allied with the revolutionary army with Koza as the leader since he started his own revolutionary army in the Alabasta arc foreshadowing that he will be allied with the actual revolutionaries by the end of the series. He also looks almost exactly like Sabo for some reason which is also very interesting. I truly believe he and Sabo will get along very well. I also think that Koza will be the leader because I think Vivi will be a straw hat in the endgame of the series and she can't be a pirate and a leader at the same time. Maybe I'll make a whole video on the true importance of Alabasta in the final saga. Let me know in the comments if you want that video. Anyways, going back to if Sabo saved Vivi, other places they could be heading to is to Luffy or the Revolutionary Army base. Maybe they're heading to Luffy because Vivi wants to see the Straw Hats after everything that went down. She probably feels most safe with Luffy as she trusts him more than anyone at this point. That's not to say she doesn't trust Luffy's brother, but he still did just kill her father even if it was an accident. I also think whatever happened to Vivi had to do with her escaping because even a Kainu and High Class Marines say that they don't know what happened to her. They just say that somehow she completely went missing and that they're investigating how Cobra's death and Vivi's cases are connected. Another thing we learn is that Alabasta's ship hadn't even left the Red Port. It seems that the whole Alabasta team that went to the Reverie were either captured by the world government or escaped some other way. I believe in my Reverie theory I also did state that they would all end up being arrested or captured because they would have helped the revolutionaries or would have been angered after Cobra died. It seems like this also did happen since their boat is still at the red line. Now the next thing to discuss from this chapter is that there was an attempted murder on St. Charles. I previously thought that the attempted murder would have been on St. Rossward who was the father of Charles since he was riding on and being very disrespectful to Bart. We all saw how mad Sabo got after seeing Bart being treated like that and I honestly thought he was gonna attempt to kill Rossward or at least do something to save Bart. However, it seems something actually happened to his son which still makes sense considering how evil he is and how he's always doing the worst of the worst. Now what actually happened to Charles may tie all the way back to the Reverie chapters when he does things to a certain princess. We saw Charles cause some terrible commotion at the beginning of the Reverie when he takes Shira Hoshi as a slave. This incident wasn't fun to watch to say the least and even CB0 got involved. If Mosgard never stepped in, it could have gotten real ugly. So since this happened, I believe there's multiple suspects who attempted to kill him. First, I still think it could have been Sabo or a revolutionary because I can see Charles also doing something bad to Kuma and then Sabo attacking him. However, this is a lot less likely than the other suspect. The other one could be someone from Fishman Island. They were very upset after what happened to Shirahoshi so I definitely think one of them could have tried to take revenge on Charles after what he tried to do. King Neptune had a killer's look in his eye as his daughter was getting assaulted and even asked his dead wife to please forgive him for what he was about to do. Luckily he was stopped and nothing actually happened to anyone but I don't think those feelings can be passed on so easily especially after someone tries to do something evil to your precious daughter. I really think there's a high chance that King Neptune hired someone to kill Charles after everything that took place. This would make a lot of sense and we also know that the world government doesn't know who the potential assassin was since they're still investigating the case. With this being said it would make sense that Neptune and the Fishman were still able to go back to their island without being arrested or anything of that sort. With everything I've now explained there's still one key point I want to talk about that hasn't been confirmed yet but I believe it will be soon. So in chapter 956 we learn that Wapo gave leaked intel to the Morgans. I said in my theory that 
I believe the leaked intel is the fact that Vivi was once a straw hat or at least allies with them. I still believe this to be true because in case you forgot, the whole world never found out that Luffy was the one that saved Alabasta. The world government kept that hidden from the public and what they said in the news was that it was Smoker and the government that saved Alabasta. Now since this happened, the one guy who hates Vivi and who knows about her connection to Luffy could have exposed the fact that she was once on the Straw Hat crew to put dirt on her name. In the world's point of view, Luffy is a pirate emperor and a criminal. Most don't view him as the hero that we know him to be. This could definitely start many conspiracies in the world as to where Vivi went since they also know what Sabo did at the Reverie. They know that he's Luffy's brother and may think that he's involved with Vivi as well. Akainu states how Alabasta must be in chaos right now and it definitely seems to be just that. Many countries may go against them if they find out that they are close with the Straw Hats. Even though that that may happen, there will still be those kingdoms like Dress Rosa, Drum Island, Fishman Island, Wano, and many more that actually support Alabasta because of Luffy. Anyways, this pretty much wraps up everything that happened at the Reverie and my theory on it. What do you guys think will happen from here on out? Do you think Vivi will be captured by Eam or do you think she escaped with the revolutionaries? How do you think Sabo killed Cobra? What do you think the leaked intel is that Wapo gave them? Do you think Koza will be the king of Alabasta and make an alliance with the revolutionaries? Who do you think the attempted assassin is? Let me know anything you feel down in the comments below. I'll leave the link to my old theory in the description in case you want to watch it. If you enjoyed one thing out of this video, please remember to like it and subscribe for future theories just like these ones. Also, we have recently begun a Patreon where we talk about every chapter on a podcast right after it drops. We discuss theories on it, how good it was, what we liked about it, and what the events in each chapter mean. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching and please remember to have a great day.